Welcome to Thought for the Day. My name's Linda Hood. I'm one of the retired ministers in the area. Goodness me, I need a haircut. That's something I'm really looking forward to, my hairdresser being able to open again. Because how we look is important to us. You see all these videos of politicians with their bookshelves all arranged in colour order and people making sure that their garden is looking at its best. How we present ourselves to the world we think is important. But does it really matter if our hair needs cutting or our bookshelves aren't tidy? Are those things really important? In one sense I suppose they do matter because that gives us the confidence to face the world if we feel we look good. But actually, in the big scheme of things, I think it's far more important what we're like on the inside. That's something that was written about in the Bible many years ago. The prophet Samuel was told by God to go and anoint somebody to become a king over Israel the second king, following on from King Saul. So Samuel went, as he was told, to the house of Jesse and asked to meet his son. And Jesse said, well, I've got lots. So Samuel thought, well, we'll start at the beginning. And he went for the oldest one, a strapping man, looked as if he could deal with anything. And Samuel thought, yes, he'll make a good king. But God said, no. People look at the outward appearance, but what God's really concerned about is the heart of somebody. Oh well, Samuel thought, try the next one. And he went through seven of Jesse's sons. But to none of them did God say, yes, this is the one. And then Samuel said, well, is that it? Have you got any more sons? And Jesse said, well, there's David, the youngest. He's out in the field looking after the sheep. So Samuel said, well, bring him in. And God said, this is the one. He might not seem much at the moment, but God had a plan to turn him into a great leader. Somebody who would take the people further on their journey. David went on to write many of the Psalms and to become an ancestor of Jesus. And I think that's a reminder to all of us not to be swayed by what people look like on the outside, but to look at the quality of someone's life. Are they kind, generous? Do they make wise choices? Do they add value to those around them? That's the important thing. That sort of person makes a real difference to their community around them. And in these times, isn't that the most important thing? A prayer. Holy God, we thank you that you aren't swayed by what people look like on the outside because you know us through and through and you want us to become the best that we can be so that we bless those around us. Amen. God bless you.